I'm gonna show you guys how to fix your beanswork LED light now I bought this a while ago so the warranty is gone and pretty much the company that I bought from will not fix it anymore so you could always you know uh, tell them that you want to ship it back and have to fix it for you but they do charge uh, they do charge you to ship it back with your own money and also you have to pay them to ship it back to you so that's a lot of money right there and if you have bigger fixture that's gonna cost you more money but this is a 14 inch 14 inch strip light that I bought and kind of took out the little clip on here and now it doesn't work anymore because the power adapter has been fried out so this is a power adapter here and if you look at it that's the spec for them hopefully you guys can see it there you go so yeah and this one's a little bit different it has an on off switch here and then the end here this is different now I don't think they even sell this anymore because I can't find them now we you have a little pocket that goes at the end here and that will go into your outlet now there I can't find any of this anymore for some reason so the the LED light is very simple. I have opened it up. I had checked it out. It's just two wires that connects to the the negative and the positive. That's it. It's very simple. I'll probably open this up and show you guys. So once you get the screen off on the back here, the screen little pixie glass here off, and then you remove that off and you check on the back of it, and you t you can either take this little clip on the side here, so you take it off. As you can see, it's very simple. It's not connected to anything. It's just a positive and a negative, and that's it. They don't. There's not much to it. See, just wire connected to it, and the power adapter is actually what controls, you know, the power. So you have that connected to two wires here. So since my power adapter is pretty much this, the main cause of the LED light go on and off and you know sometimes it will stay off for maybe a minute and they will come on again so that's pretty much the main problem that a lot of people experience and it's usually this adapter that's the problem I did open it up and I did smell some sort of burning you know and I even look at the circuit board in here yep and to me it looks like it's fried and when you touch it, it, it feels very, very hot. You know, not that hot, but kind of hot. So that's probably the main reason right here. This is probably the problem. So what I did was, you know, instead of having to buy a new fixture, I ordered this power adapter here that matched the same spec of the other adapter. And same spec here, just didn't have the little switch here. There we go. And the thing with this one is that it oh sorry about that. It has this little a little plug here. Now the thing with this is I don't need this because since at the end of this is no plug like this one here, you see has a little hole in there. This one doesn't have one because this is supposed to go inside of a little beast work. There's other models that just have a low outlet you put in. Well, since uh, this one doesn't even have any, we're going to cut this and we're going to solder that onto the circuit board. Pretty easy to do. I will probably show you how I do it. So what I do here is, is I'm going to cut this little wire here, the new one here. Got right on the end here and from there we got two wires here and we're going to strip this to expose the wire and then we're going to pretty much solder that onto our board here 
Now, I'm not going to show you how to solder in everything. There's videos about that online. But once I get this all soldered, I will show you guys and even show you guys that it worked. So I'm back and I got it all soldered together. You can see, here's the LEDs here. On the back here, you can see how I soldered them back on. Now, since this wire does not have a black and white, it's kind of hard to tell which is either or positive or negative. So, what I did first is, you know, solder in, plug it in to see if it lights up. If that's not light up, switch it around and it should work so to let you guys see if it work here's the power adapter you see there's no plug in here so here it is and I will go ahead and plug it in for you guys to show you guys that it work there we go so all of them does work as you can see there we go so what we'll do here is put it back together and then use Hakuru gun eh, seal this up a little bit and we should be good so there we have it I have glue gun this together and that's it we're pretty much done here and we can go ahead and use it. 